When you think about venomous animals, the first that come to mind tend to be snakes or some kind of insect. But most people completely overlook the venomous mammals. These cute little critters can pack a punch well above their weight. European moles, Talpa europea. These seldom seen burrowers are mostly known for the mounds they leave in parks and gardens. But beneath the surface, these voracious predators use venom secreted from their salivary glands to paralyze earthworms, so they can store them alive to eat them later. Shrews, Eurasian water, Mediterranean water, Elliot's short-tailed, northern and southern short-tailed. Commonly mistaken for mice, these little eating machines have a high metabolism and need to eat frequently. This has led some species to develop a venom in their saliva that allows them to paralyze their prey and store it in living larders that allow them some leeway when finding food is difficult. Hispaniolan and Cuban Selenodon Selenodon paradoxus and Selenodon cubanus These strange giant shrew-like animals have been found in the fossil record right across America but are sadly now found in only a few small areas, in Haiti, the Dominican Republic and Cuba. Both these species have a potent venom, which they use to kill frogs, lizards, birds and rodents. One drawback though, is they're not immune to their own bite, so even minor fights can lead to death. Duck-billed platypus, Ornithorhynchus anatinus. One of the oddest animals you could ever come across, and in the words of English zoologist George Shaw in 1799, It naturally excites the idea of some deceptive preparation by artificial means, and was believed by many to be a hoax. Their venom is produced in glands in the upper thigh, with ducks that connect to small movable spurs on their back legs. And unlike the other animals in our list, their venom is found only in males and is used primarily for defence and when males fight for dominance. Slow loris, Nyctisebus species. The only genus of primate to use venom are the slow loris. And some argue they're not truly venomous, but I'm making this list, so there. They produce their venom in specialized sweat glands on the insides of their elbows and use comb-like front teeth to transfer it to their mouths ready to bite. But I must add that some researchers believe that the venom is in fact used for some other purpose and the human deaths that have been attributed to it are caused by an allergen similar to one found in cat fur causing the victim to go into anaphylactic shock. Ever been savaged by a shrew or pierced by a platypus? If so, tell us about it in the comments. If you liked it, give it a like and click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep thinking.